What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I'm gonna show you a quick, simple, uh, I guess, concept. But before I do that, I'll tell, tell a story real quick. I, I go to Montana quite a bit, or used to, and uh, snowmobiling in the back country. And one thing that you know I, I noticed one time is that my lighter was in my pocket. I'm wearing a snowsuit, but it froze. Like even though it, it was in my pocket underneath my snowsuit, it, the lighter froze, right? And I had a fire steel and all that kind of stuff just in case. And, but the thing is, is that, you know, a lighter is one of my favorite uh, survival making tools because it's instant flame, right? There's also these two guys that they found dead up there. They were uh, hunters. I think they were hunting for elk. And they got out of their truck just to go walk down on the side of the road, walk down and go check, um, I guess, their stand or what have you they're going to be hunting out of. And they, they found them dead out there, like not even a few hundred yards from the truck. And in their truck, they had all kinds of survival gear because they didn't have it on their person. They wanted to get turned around in the snow because everything looks the same in, 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 the, in the snow. And they wound up freezing to death out there. So I'm a big proponent. I mean, obviously I have survival kits, but also layering survival equipment on your person, you know, having like watch band comps and things like that. So one thing I did notice about uh, Montana about, because I smoked then is, is why I needed a lighter, but keeping your lighter close to your body because your body temperature will keep it heated, right? So all you can do is just tape a lighter with duct tape, wrap a bunch of duct tape. So that way you have duct tape for your, uh, you can use for emergency gear repair, things like that. So you have duct tape just to have it put a whistle on there. So you got your whistle and fire making. Morse Kahansky says in, uh, in, in one of his books that fire is 90%, obtaining fire is 90% of your survivability. So fire is that critical and a whistle, something I can uh, you know, signal for help, obviously. So, and your duct tape again, because this helps add to your gear repair. So you can also get something like this fire cord, which you know, if you cut it open, you have a um, tinder ready available. So you have flame and you have a, a tinder source, right? So, get this red section out. The red is the, the flammable, right? So you see this red strand, this is the flammable strand. So then I can use this, ball this up. So I have tinder around my neck as well, as well as, you know, other extra cordage if I need it. But so now I have this tinder that I can use with my lighter to make a fire, right? And this stuff's waterproof too. So um, it just helps you A, you got fire making equipment, you got some duct tape, you can put uh, more tinder in there, you can put a small ferro rod taped up in there like we saw on our website, you can tape that up in there so you got a ferro rod as well that can use this so you have multiple ways to make fire, but you have it on your body. Now the, the reason why I'm even doing this is because your body temperature will keep this from freezing because it's gonna be close to your body wrapping, wrapped up and it'll keep it from freezing. So anyhow guys, hope you like that tip, hopefully it helps you out, something easy, something simple, something you may not have thought about. And uh, guys, leave some comments, likes, and uh, shares. And as always, thanks for watching Blast Scout Survival.